Hey everybody, this is my newest project, the Geiger counter. I built it over uh, the span of three weeks, I think. Um, basically, it detects radiation, and based off the tube I have, the Geiger tube, it can detect alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. Um, it runs off 9 volts. I'll post the link where I found the schematic and basically uh, it's very simple on off button piezoelectric speaker that's uh, inside and the uh, Geiger tube a 100 microamp meter to um, kind of a reference point it doesn't really tell you how much radiation there is uh, it's not in grays or rads or millisieverts uh, Basically, zero means no radiation, and a hundred means a lot of radiation, and you know everything in between. And uh, basically, you turn it on; it runs off nine volts, and you hear a couple clicks in a minute. Um, if I hold it up, you can probably hear it. The uh, speaker here. Okay, and uh, right now it's showing zero or close to zero and I have an americium source right here that I managed to get from a ionization smoke detector so if I pick that up let me try to show you how that looks like if the camera can focus ah, well I can't but basically um, if I hold it up to the Geiger tube wherever the Geiger tube is hold on there we go it, uh, it easily overloads the uh, amp meter and let me uh, open it up and show you how it looks on the inside Alright, so here's the inside of the Geiger counter. Um, here's the amp meter here. It's uh, screwed in here. Here's the piezoelectric buzzer. Uh, this one is two, uh, 2 kilohertz, about 80 decibels. Um, here's a, a switch for the battery and here's the Geiger tube. Now, here, uh, this is the 9 volt battery that provides the power. I have a Velcro pad on it. Um, I also have one on the other side. And this is the circuit board I uh, made and it's got everything on here. Uh, the circuitry to step up the 9 volts to 500 volts for the Geiger, ca uh, the Geiger tube and it also has the digital circuitry um, on the other side and uh, that that records the little clicks or it it senses the pulses from the Geiger tube so that's that's basically uh, the breakdown of this, it's not very complicated. I did screw up, um, I'll, there were quite a few mistakes on the circuit board itself, and, um, overall, I was kind of unhappy with that. I had to make a lot of fixes, and it's basically a big mess, but it works. Um, if I were to make this again, it would go much more smoothly, but, um, it, it's satisfactory, I guess, yeah, but, uh, yeah, it's basically, uh, basically my Geiger counter.